Hello, everyone. Sorry, I am two minutes late, but I believe I got all of the links listed for you guys. Normally, I don't do that till the end. And hopefully, it's on there now. Yes, okay, all of the links are listed. Awesome. All right, I see a couple people on. Say hello, please. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Charlotte. Hi, Chow. Oh, this is great. Okay. We're going to give it a minute while everybody jumps on. I'm actually going to grab the other mink. I feel like being different today. I didn't put my logo on this one yet. Well, I don't really have a logo yet. I guess I should get a logo. Your logo should be Hello Kitty. <laughs> no, that's Hello Kitty's logo. Mine should be FSC. Hi, Debbie. They're saying hi, Leah. Hi, poor Nima. Hi, Penny. Go paint on your uh, thing over there. Ooh, why is this like, did I put the camera on the wrong way? Oh, I did put the camera. Oh, geez. If I flip this around, oh my God, you guys are going to have to tell me if this goes upside down. <laughs> Orientation is locked. Oh no. Okay, well, I'll have to make do, I guess. That's a little different, <laughs> not normally how I do it, but I put the iPad on the wrong way. Sorry. No, it's in the wrong place. It should, it's the camera's up in the top left corner and it's supposed to be in the bottom right, but it's all right. We'll deal with it. This is one of the minks that I ordered for $39.99 on Amazon. And whenever that guy lowers the price, I will certainly let you guys know. It is the exact same as the gold mink I use. That's just a uh, Anna Griffin mink, but it's the exact same. So <clears throat> just to give you guys a heads up, I have been having so much fun the last two days. So if you guys uh, missed yesterday's live, we played around. Um, oh, now I have to remember the cameras up here. This is going to be such a problem for me. Hey, Carolyn. That's what I'm thinking, Llama Bear, is if I can keep everybody, you know, positive and, you know, in a good mood, then yay for all of us, right? That's what I'm trying to do, hon. All right, I gotta move this up. I just have to remember that the camera is over here. Okay, so these were the new Unity card fronts that I had foiled. Ugh. And I just put some of those hot foiled butterflies on there. Okay, and then these, um, we made these cards yesterday. Well, I wanted to show you guys I did something else today. Get ready to be wowed. Oh, yeah, my Tuesday morning blows. Okay, I made some more backgrounds, and I am uploading the video, so it'll take a little bit. Okay, um, look at these backgrounds I made today. Okay, but these are, the, look at what I made. This is what is awesome. But ta da Blue Knight rubber stamps, silhouette stamps. 
So the video is loading so you guys will get to watch and play along. I will warn you, it was like an hour long video because I was messing around with the inks and then trying to stamp them out perfectly, of course. You know me. Look at these. Oh my gosh. I'm like, I can't believe I made these. So, yeah. I get ink on my machine already. What the heck? No, no, no. Okay. Um, I used two things. One, I did them in the um, archival ink. This one. And then the second ones I did in VersaFine Claire ink, and I heat embossed them. Hello, Carolyn. Hi, Anne-Marie. Yeah, they're beautiful. So that video will go up this week for you guys. All right. In the meantime, I see everyone's here. Ooh, we got 10 thumbs up. I have already linked down in the description below everything I'm going to use today. What? Well, it's all the same stuff we used yesterday. So all I had to do was copy yesterday's links. Ha, 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 ha. Anyway, um, we're going to play around with some foils today. And I already have my samples made for you guys I have the foils pretty much cut I have the embossing um or sorry not embossing the transfer folders ready so let me preface this by saying I used several different products the two stencils the three stencils I used were <coughs> hi Christine I'm so jealous of you and your boating escapades today hi Gloria Okay, so Elegant Swirl Stencil, Sunburst Stencil, and then this one I didn't link. If you're interested, I will link it for you. It's a Deco Art, some kind of flowers. Daisy Chain. Okay, there we go. All right, so these two are linked. This one's not linked. Earlier today, if you caught my Facebook Live, and I know some of you were there, I showed the different ways that you could use stencils. So the first way was to regular ink around the stencil. <clears throat> the second way was to take embossing paste. I keep calling it embossing paste, modeling paste. <clears throat> now I'm gonna give you guys the same warning. I gave my warning on Facebook. They don't make this anymore. This is Teresa Collins modeling paste. Um, see Valerie, you're already halfway there. <clears throat> and mine was really clumpy and like kind of starting to dry out and I didn't want to waste it because look how much is still in there I mean this is like halfway full so me being the bright idea scientist that I am <laughs> put it in the microwave and look what started to happen the jar started to melt and I was like oh that's not a good idea so I just slowly started mixing in some hot water and it took me about 20 minutes of mixing. It did reconstitute. It seems to be okay now. We'll see how it works. Um, but you can find modeling paste in the art section of your local craft store. So um, if you want white and it's like a chalky finish when it dries, think of it like paper mache paste, but much thicker. So you can find modeling paste in your art stores, just so you know. I don't have that link, but what I did was I put that down on here <clears throat> and then um, just put some Martha Stewart glitter over top of it while it was wet and then it dried on like that. Okay, so that's the second way. The third way you guys saw me do yesterday was using just regular glitter paste, which is already mixed up and ready to go for you. Um, the fourth way was to, again, take that paste, and then once it's dried, I put the stencil back on it, and after I put the stencil back on it, I inked it with regular inks and a dauber. I also sprayed it. It's hard to see, but I sprayed it with Distress Oxide Sprays. So you can do that. Um, you guys saw yesterday we did Rena K Electro Pop Neon um, Enamels on them. And then I showed a really quick sample, and this is what we're going to do tonight, of foiling. Now, this one is not real great of an example because I was running out of my texture paste. So it was the bottom of the jar. I was scraping it out and just trying to use it all as I could. This is a brand new jar, but there might be some lumps and bumps in some of my samples today. All right. <clears throat> 
All right, I wanted to make a note. There is a huge difference in drying time on these products. So the Teresa Collins modeling paste, because it's so opaque, this dried the quickest. I mean, within no time, this was dry, okay? Um, I also used 3D modeling paste, which is from, I don't know what company this is. Again, out of Nancy's old stash, American Traditional Designs. Oops. So I also used a sample of that. They dried pretty quick. They're very opaque, okay? Next was Ranger. Are you guys proud of me? Look, I wrote everything on the back. Ranger dries pretty quickly. This is not sticky. This is the Ranger Texture Paste Gloss, okay? And I know you guys can't feel these through, but the Ranger Texture Paste is completely dry, does not feel sticky. I mean, you could leave it like this and it's gorgeous. That's what it's designed for. You can put glitter on it and it's gorgeous. You put embossing powder on it, okay? Now notice, can you guys hear that? Do you hear that? Look, paper came off. Okay, this is still sticky. This is the Deco Foil Duo Gel. Okay, it specifically says in the instructions with the Rena K neon enamels that you have to wait 24 hours. Well, this is still tacky. Okay, and the reason this is still tacky is because this is a duo gel. And the duo gel is designed to work with or without heat. I prefer using it with heat. We're going to do a sample of both with heat and without heat. But this is still kind of sticky tacky. You could hear that it was stuck to the paper. And then I also used some Heidi Swap Texture Paste. That's this one here. And it dried pretty much like the Ranger. It's... It's in between the Ranger and the Duo Gel. It's it's dried, but it's not as tacky as the Duo Gel. And this is, I don't know if you guys can see. Um, where's my jar of stuff? Oh, there it is. I don't know if you guys ever watched one of Nancy's really old, old, old videos, but I had the bright idea of buying all of these Heidi Swap metallic texture paste and I put them all in these little jars okay because I was like well if I'm going to scrape up the excess I want to be able to put it in the jar because you can't put it back in here so wise guy me squirted them out of the tubes put them in these jars hi grata and <laughs> three of them had to be thrown out because they dried out the only one that did not dry out was this pearl, or I guess they're calling it white, but it's actually pearlescent. So I also did one of those. So on here, um, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. It's a white pearlescent. So you can certainly leave it like that. It's very pretty, but I want to foil over it. I want to see if Rena K will stick to this and it'll look pretty because I don't have any of the Blanco. But I wanted to just let you guys know that there is a difference in drying time with these products, okay? So I'm going to move some of these aside and we're gonna start foiling. Are you ready? Carolyn said she's addicted to stencils. Oh, I do wanna bring up, if anybody is watching this on the replay, I did get a comment yesterday saying, hey, I know you're doing these live, which is great, but for those of us that are watching this on the replay, we really have no idea what's kind of going on. Please turn your comments on. Okay, Tracy. Um, got you, Tracy. Um, please turn your comments on so you can see what's, what's, what's being said, what's going on. Please, please, please. And I have several samples of foil cut out. All right, the foils we are using today is are linked below for you. We have the new Heidi Swap Honeycomb Iridescent, Lime Iridescent, um, Ultraviolet Iridescent, Teal Iridescent. Of course, we're gonna try some of the new Electro Pop Neon Enamel. And my favorite, Creative Vision Stamps, best foil in the whole wide world. Prove me wrong. All right, we also have several transfer sheets. Let me get my little dusting brush. 
And all of this is linked down below for you. All right, here we go. To that the smooth paste used, oh, that's a good idea, Marie. I did not know that. I do have some of that. All right, so for the white, this is the 3D modeling paste. So this is this stuff. Can you guys see everything okay? I'm really like concerned about this camera angle. I have to remember to stay over here. Hold on. I'm gonna move you over a little bit. Okay, it's as far over as I can move you. Okay. You guys will have to tell me in comments if I'm out of film. Out of frame, not out of film. Oh my gosh. All right, so the 3D modeling paste. We want to dust that. Um, I'm going to do, let's just start with our favorite here. I don't know if it will stick to modeling paste or not, so we're going to find out here shortly. I'm going to use the Nancy Stamps foil from Creative Vision Stamps, also known as Tutti Frutti. I prefer to call it Nancy Stamps. Oops, let's make sure the foil is on the whole image. I have never used 3D modeling paste to see if it will stick. Here we go. Round one. Okay, round two. I am going to use the Heidi Swap. This one. The Heidi Swap uh, white, what's it called? Metallic texture paste. I don't know if they still sell this anymore. And I'm going to use the neon on this. Hello, Jimmy Ford from Las Vegas. I actually have a friend named Jimmy Ford. I don't think he's in Las Vegas. I mean, he could be, but I don't think you're the same Jimmy Ford. Okay, here we go. Hi, Dawn. Yes, I am trying to be your one hour of not thinking about the real world right now, unless you're thinking about it in a happy, positive, colorful kind of way. All right. Moving on here. We're going to do some Ranger Texture Paste Gloss. And I'm just gonna kind of run all these through. And I think for this one, I wanna use that cool Heidi Swap Honeycomb Foil. And again, all the links are down below. I have some affiliate links, some are not affiliate links, but if you guys use my affiliate links, it all goes back into the channel so I can buy more stuff to show you. All right, moving on here, kids. I gotta tell you, this deco foil duo is sticking to everything, and that was foiled. All of these were done last night, except for the white texture paste. The white texture face paste I did this morning after my Facebook Live. Speaking of Facebook, if you are not a member of the new Facebook group Foiling and Stamping Fun, I have that linked below. My co-founder Tracy is on with us and please go over and join Tracy's channel if you are not a member of her YouTube channel.
And I have my mini mink on setting four because we are doing, um, these are on Nina uh, Solar White cardstock and because they're a little thicker with the texture paste. So, okay, we'll stop here for a second and we'll do some unveiling. Now, secret number two is to make sure that you let these cool down. I would say secret number three. Secret number one would be to use a mink or a super hot laminator. Secret number two would be to dust, dust, dust. And then number three would be let it cool down. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Kathy from Canada. I know, Rena, the black is going to be gorgeous. All right, so we're going to reveal some of these. Look at all of these foiling goodies. They're so pretty. And I just want to make sure they're all cooled. Reading your comments. All right, so this is the Tutti Frutti. Okay, so I'm very, very surprised. 3D modeling texture paste. Look, it does work. I'm going to put that back in there. I'm going to try to double foil that. And I'm going to turn the heat up to five. We're going to try to refoil that because there's a couple of valleys in there that didn't get it. And we're going to save that one. All right. This is the honeycomb. And this is on Ranger Texture Paste. Now, keep in mind, these are not going to be 100%. Because as you're working with the paste, the paste has some dips and valleys and things like that. Always keep your scrap foils because we can reuse those. That is cool. So it has the holographic honeycomb in the back. That's pretty neat. I'm going to run this guy through again and see if we can get some of that. We might need to put a shim under that one. Okay. This is the iridescent lime green. This is also on the Ranger. And again, my Ranger texture paste, I was scraping the bottom of the jar. So there are going to be some lumps and bumps in these. But, oh wow, that is really pretty. Yes, I have used Mod Podge. Yep. The only difference is Mod Podge is a little thinner. So just keep that in mind. It's not going to give you as much height. That, oh, that is gorgeous. Okay, moving on to some more Ranger with the teal iridescent foil. So see all of these um, dips in here? That's because when I was putting it over the stencil, I was using a regular um, texture knife. It's never gonna be 100%, but that's okay, it's still pretty. All right. Now this was the regular modeling paste. I honestly did not think this was gonna stick at all, guys. And it did. That surprises me. It really does. You know what that means? That means you don't need Blanco. You don't need white paste if you have this. That's, that's gonna really, we're gonna test that theory. That came out really cool. Okay, so here we are. This is the Rena K New Enamels. I did this on the white metallic texture paste from Heidi Swap. Yes, definitely depends on the medium. That's why I tried to use a couple different ones. We'll see how this worked out. You guys, FSC success. What, what? Uh-huh, 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 we got it. All right, let's foil some more.
You do not need toner. Yes, ma'am, Sandra. That is correct. Winner, winner. All right, this is the Teresa Collins modeling paste. This will be interesting to see how this works out. So let's pick, you know what? We're gonna go right for this gold because I think it'll be pretty on the daisies. And since I have that on five, we're gonna leave it there. That, that deco foil, man, ugh, it's sticking to everything on my desk. We're gonna have to get through this. <laughs> Okay, this is the Heidi Swap Texture Paste. We're gonna do our favorite Creative Vision Stamps foil on top of that. And that's called Crystal Ombre, and I believe it's sold out. You'll have to check the website. Ooh, that's hot, let it cool down, hot, hot, hot. All right, for the last couple, I wanted to do a couple of experiments. Okay, so these are the Deco Foil Duo Gels. Now, the instructions say to let this Deco Duo Gel um, 24 hours before putting anything on it. Well, it's been close enough to 24 hours. Um, Dr. Early, it just depends on the product. Most of these have been drying for 24 hours. They do not need to dry for 24 hours. A lot of them are ready within a couple of hours. So the deco foil, I am gonna do one um, heated and one with my Gemini machine, okay? So I am doing this one on white paper because this Electro Pop really needs a light color in order to pop, pop in pink. Neon, so we don't want to do that on black. We definitely want to do it on white. And then for these two, we, we will put regular foil on them. But we're going to do one through um, the mink and we're going to do one through the gemini okay so i am warning you that these stay tacky like it it wants to stick so the duo gels advantage look it's sticking already the duo gels advantage is that you don't need heat with the duo gel that's their claim to fame so I'm going to show you guys that. Not the regular deco foil, the deco foil duo. But you do want to, when this is drying, you want to set it aside and keep it away from everything because it is still tacky. Oh, I'm not going to heat this one. There's a brush hair in there. Okay, see, see how the foil's already wanting to stick to it? All right, so we're gonna run it through Gemini Junior here. Now you can use your Sizzix platform. Um, your Cuddlebug, whatever you got. Gemini, Vagabond, Empress. You're just gonna run it through a normal sandwich. So first one is the Duo Gel. I just ran through the Gemini. This is the Transfer Gel Duo from Deco Foil. Oh, 
know, Bernie, I could do that. It's too late now. <laughs> but I mean, some people don't have a mink. So this is just an experiment for them. If they don't have a mink or they don't have a laminator, they can still do beautiful foiling through the Gemini. FSC approved. Look at that. Gorgeous, darling. Yeah, Rena. So if you have the deco foil duo, you do not need heat. Not regular deco foil, but the deco foil duo. Okay, this is, I believe, the Heidi Swap texture paste. Got stuck to the folder there. Okay, this is yeah Heidi Swap texture paste. So this is the new stuff we bought last week that we were trying to do stamping with. Hi, John. Okay. So that's what this is. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, bow chicka bow wow. Oh my gosh, you guys. That is the best one yet. Oh, it's so pretty. Of course it is. It's made with the best foil ever. Creative Vision Stamps Crystal Ombre. I'm sorry if you didn't get it. It sold out. Look at this piece. That's going to be pretty on black toner paper. I'm saving all my scraps over here so I can use them. Now I'm gonna have all these beautiful backgrounds. I'm gonna have to make cards. Uh-oh. We have a situation. Not a Jersey Shore situation. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was all stuck on the embossing folder. This is the Teresa Collins paste, which you can't buy anymore, so. It didn't even work. Oh my God, that's terrible. We're gonna put that through again. <laughs> that didn't even work. It was like not, ha all it did do was stick to my folder. Wah, wah, wah. We knew there was gonna be a failure. We always have to have at least one failure. We'll let that one heat up. Okay, this is Deco Foil Duo again, but this one we ran through the laminator. Through the mink, I should say. Oh, still gorgeous. This one is nearly perfect. There's a little bit of under um, the stencil here, but oh, it's so pretty, you guys. All right. Last but not least, some more Rena K Neon Pop. Poppin' Pink. I love, I love the names. Poppin' Pink, Poppin' Pink, Neon Enamels. Remember, Neon Enamels do not work on foil toner sheets. You can only use them with a paste. Here we go. So even though I didn't wait the full 24 hours, it was close enough that we got a full, complete transfer. Very successful. So the only one that didn't work, and I will go through all of these with you guys again, is the Teresa Collins. Look what it did. Destroyed my folder. I got, a, got paper all over the folder. Paste. Yeah. That didn't work. It gave a very distressed kind of funky look. Not what I was going for, but it's still very usable. It's, it's different for sure. They're outlined. Very distressed. I don't think the camera's gonna pick it up, come on. You 
the camera picking that up for you guys. So it's distressed. So definitely still usable. Not what I was looking for. But we know now the only failure is the Teresa Collins modeling paste with foils. Don't use it with foils. Use it with your glitters and your inks and everything else. So let me go through with these for you guys so you guys can take notes. Um, this was Deco Foil Duo. No heat. This was the only one we did without heat. Okay. Yeah, the waste is, is it's kind of cool. Let me show it to you guys. Can you see? It's just the outline. Like, it only picked up the outside. It's very distressed looking. That'll look cool. Very grungy. Very tight. All right, so here we go. No heat duo gel. Okay, so no heat came out gorgeous. You really cannot tell the difference between no heat and heat. You really can't. Let me find another one. A duo gel one. Ranger. 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 There's only more Rangers because, like I said, I was running out of Ranger and I just wanted to use up what was left on the bottom of the jar. Okay, so deco foil, no heat, deco foil with heat. There really is not a big difference. Um, you know, as president of the FSC, I can say that I would really not know the difference if you sent me one of these cards and say, oh, one was with heat and one wasn't with heat. They both are very stunning. So the Deco Foil Duo Gel works fine. Again, just keep in mind that it is a little extra tacky. You can feel that. It's kind of like a rubbery feeling. Heidi Swap Texture Paste came out beautifully. Okay. Um, Deco Foil Duo Gel again with the enamel. So we did the enamels with two products. Actually, three products. So Deco Foil enamels yesterday we did with Ranger Texture Face, which was fine. It just seeped under the stencil there. So that worked out. And then we did it with the Heidi Swap Metallic Texture Paste. So if you have Heidi Swap Metallic Texture Paste, it is white underneath. So it, our colors, we don't lose any of the saturation of color there. And then, of course, the Duo Gel. Now, if you're going to do this on dark cardstock, you do need a white formula underneath. So that's why they are stating to use the... Um, uh, Blanco, the Duo Gel Blanco, which is only heat activated. It doesn't work without heat. Okay, our only not so good <laughs> was the Teresa Collins modeling paste, but that's okay. At least we know now it doesn't work, so we probably don't want to use it in this format. We have the um, Ranger Texture Paste again. This was using the Honeycomb Foil, so I don't know if you guys can see it, but not only is it gold, but it has the little holographic lines in there, so it's really cool. Very futuristic. Okay, this is Ranger Gel again on black with the iridescent green, very pretty. This is the iridescent teal, again, on Ranger. And I like Rangers because you can feel the difference. Like, you can feel this is completely dry. The Duo Gel, you can feel that it's, it's, uh, it's not completely dry. You can just tell the difference when you touch them. And then this was the other modeling paste, the 3D modeling paste. Does it work? Yes. Is it my go-to? I would say no. <laughs> um, still very kind of cool looking, but... Not our go-to choices. All right. And then let me just put them with their same stencils. You guys can see them again. Look at all the beautiful backgrounds we have now. And these are very simple to dress up. All we really need to do is just kind of put a sentiment on there. So yeah, now I have plenty of backgrounds to make cards with.
And I still have the waste foil that I can put on toner sheets. Now you cannot use the Rena K enamels on toner sheets. Um, my advice would be just to glue it down on paper. God, this is so cool. This is my favorite one for sure. And what I was saying earlier is if you have some spots like here where the stencil paste, the, uh, sorry, texture paste kind of went underneath the stencil, you can use um, sand eraser and erase some of that off. And all of my panels are cut to five and a half by four and a quarter. So if I have this excess on the edge, I can cut that off. Um, you don't really want to wipe it because it could smear. And it's really hard to pick these panels up once you're done stenciling them and they're all wet and sticky. So you just want to put them aside. I put them on my nonstick craft mat on the table behind me and let them dry. But I made them all purposely bigger so that I could cut them down on any of the sides where, like up here, it just didn't stencil properly on the outside edges. That one came out really pretty too. I'm pretty pleased. What do you guys think? Creative Vision Stamps is still the champion, though. Their foils are amazing. And then we have these two. The Grungies. And if you get a chance, you can go back and watch my Facebook Live where I do the stencil stenciling examples. But hopefully that answers some questions for you guys on how to foil with stencils. Um, this comes in really handy around Christmas time when we're making mass producing Christmas cards. You guys already know that foiling steps it up and gives you an elegance. Um, but doing the um, stencil part of it, you know, you might already have some really cool stencils and you just got to add a little foil to it. Do you guys have any questions? Everything is already linked down below for you in the description. If you can give me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. I'm gonna show you how to clean your transfer folders when you get a boo-boo. All you do is use some acetone. So what is acetone? Nail polish remover. Must be nail polish remover with acetone. And you're just going to take a little bit on paper towel or tissue. And wherever that toner or foil is stuck, it will come off. And for those of you that do hot foiling and it gets stuck on your hot foils, same thing. It'll come right off. That's it. That's all I got. I know, Bernie. I was like thinking about this all day. How am I going to get you guys through this without making it an hour and a half? Don't worry. The alcohol inks video is going to go. I know, Gloria. I have gel polish, so it won't come off with acetone. I know. Look, Nance did her own nails, you guys. <laughs> I had alcohol ink all over my fingers today. <laughs> yeah, Trace. Time to get a mini mink. Tracy, see if they have um, a Tuesday morning near you. Wow, luxury card store was able to get 20 pounds of chicken and toilet paper. You go, girl. I went to the grocery store yesterday. I was all done up. <laughs> oh, then you got to get the large mink, Tracy. Then you can laminate and do um, 
foiling on it. The big mink. The big mink. All right, guys. I got nothing else. What do you guys got? See how organized I was? Stayed to the time frame. All right, guys. Now I just need to find something to do with all of these leftovers. Oh, wait. I got one more piece of foil left. I'm going to use it. I'm going to foil one of these butterfly things again because it was pretty. Ew, is that going to look okay? Green butterflies? I don't think I like that idea. I'm reconsidering my options here. <laughs> I don't want to do green butterflies. I'm going to I'm going to be different and you know what I'm going to do? Have fun, Gloria. Don't forget your gloves and your face mask. This is not. This was from Unity deco foil. You can get that. Uh, I linked it down below for you. Oh yes, I will have to do a video with the negatives for sure. I am using leftover foil here in the teal and the gold. Let me just slide this over. This is going to work or not, but we're going to find out. Static electricity, no! You evil doer, you. covered in foil now. I know, I didn't dust. You know why? Because it's all these tiny little pieces. I don't know, Connie. I did. I just felt like getting it out of the closet. I need to put Nancy stamps on there. I need to get that burning smell off of it too. You know, the brand new mink smell. Hi, Rhee and Snee. Yes, please stay safe, Gloria. Of course, we got to give that a second to cool down. Hopefully, we didn't miss any spots. 
possible. All right, here we go. Oh, there's a couple of missed spots. Oh, well. Not enough to worry about. That is cool, though. It's all multicolored. I should have put some pink in there. <laughs> it's cool because there, not only are these, there squares of different foil colors, but the gold has that holographic in it. So it has these lines. It's different. It's cool. Okay, guys, that's all I got for tonight. Everything's linked below. If you don't see a link, put it in the comment and I will link it for you. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel and you're watching the replay, please turn the comments on so you can see everything we were talking about. And please consider subscribing. You can click the bubble that's going to come up in the bottom right-hand corner. Click the bell for notifications. If you're not getting my notifications, I did post a video to make sure your notifications are on. You can go back and check that out. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep on foiling. Bye-bye.